All right, all right. It's time for game number three of today's iCast, your freaking awesome replays. The challenge was Doppelganger, where you have to play like your opponent's race. We've seen a couple of funny ones. We've seen a Zerg playing as a Protoss, a Terran building depots everywhere to power their structures, including proxies like a Protoss. We've seen two players pretending to be Protoss. I wonder if we're going to see a third one up here in the top right. The Terran player in the green, it is Dead Man. And down here at the bottom left hand side, in the orange, the Protoss player, it's Blisk. I saw Blisk in chat earlier, shout out Blisk, you're around still, hope you are. Looks like your game made it in. So I think this is going to be from Clan Cranky's Blisk, over on this side of the map. Um, Blisk, I believe was the one who, when I had my little kitten filler video on, was saying they hate kittens. They destroy it. No, they didn't say they hate them. Blisk was just saying that they're a pest and they kill all the native wildlife, which I'm sure is a fair enough thing, um, which I don't actually know much about. But you know what? I, I am I am going to have to fucking... Like, everyone else is watching a cute kitten, kitten video. The person in Clan Cranky is complaining about cats, saying they're, they're the devil. Oh, I feel like we're going to have to just call Blisk the kitten hater. The fucking... The kitty hater, the fucking cranky Protoss over here, who is going to somehow try and play as a Terran. So let's keep our eyes on what happens. Now, there's a few things Terran players do. One is disgusting siege pushes with, like, bunkers and tanks. So if we see cannons out here and disruptors, that's one thing you could do. It's kind of like a liberated tank bunker push. You can also multi-drop the shit out of them. Um, I would love to see a five warp prism doom drop in the main base, something like that. Uh, what else? What else do- I don't know. I, I'm not sure what else Terran do. There's- there's always gonna be some weird shit that happens. We're just gonna have to keep our eye on it. For now, this little Protoss, he, he played funny- funny buggers with the SCVs for a little bit. That Reaper's actually obscenely late, because that's a vi oh, that's a super fast factory from Deadman. Deadman going right up that tech tree real fast. Delayed the orbital and the Reaper to get a super fast factory command center. Interesting, alright. It's gonna be uh be taken up. Meanwhile, cheeky cheeky dickhead probe is like the Reaper should be halfway across the map. <laughs> the Reaper hasn't even popped out yet. Oh, Blisk! You're playing too good. You're assuming your player's Reaper was gonna be on time. What do you think this is? GSL or something? That probe pays the iron price for assuming their opponent would have the Reaper out at the normal timing. Dead man's like get meted, bitch. My Reaper comes out when my Reaper comes out. Takes it down, is going for a starport, a tech lab on the factory, and is going to do that as well. Banshees, people are saying. <laughs> so what do you do? You make a mothership to cloak your phoenix? <laughs> You're like, they're banshees! We've got a couple of gateways, a robo on the way, uh, more probes building here as well. Chrono boost going down. Looks like we've got a bit of a gentleman's agreement so far. No, neither player is trying to just cheese the other one. Dead man here has not scouted at all. Is just poking around looking for proxies with this reaper. And uh, he's got a bit of fire coming Oh. Look at that. Ooh, fire coming out of his butt. I think he ate some spicy tacos last night. You know, that's always that point where you're so drunk, you think, I love spicy stuff. I'm going to put more habanero sauce on me fucking taco than there is meat and other fillings. And you know what? At the time, you're so drunk, you might not even realize. You're like, I'm having a bit of a cry while I eat me taco, but it's all right. But the next morning when you wake up and you feel your stomach kind of churn a little bit and you go, ooh, I need to hit the, hit the bathroom. That's what ends up happening, doesn't it? Dead Man's Reaper knows all about it. He's going to have to take five minutes out over there and rest up because he's feeling a little bit stressed uh, with the Ring of Fire there. The Adept takes out a mule. Oh, no, another mule. This siege tank is like, uh, fuck doing my job. Two mules have already gone down. Holy shit. One angry Adept with a laser frisbee. She doesn't even shade out. She's like, fuck it. I'm going to kill even more stuff here. The tank finally is going to get over there. That shade's going to go out. Is she going to get another SCV? Is she going to get it? No, she does go down. But two fucking fresh mules. Holy shit, that's huge. And uh, down here, the first pervy, pervy observer starts up. Another adept hanging out as well. I love this fucking skin where they've got this big little fucking... This big thing on their back. Do you think it's... Is it actually attached to the adept's back? Or it's hovering. It's not even attached. Do you think that takes psionic energy just to have this little fucking frill behind the neck? Is it kind of like in nature when you see a lizard frill up its neck and it's like, ah, be intimidated, predator. I'm bigger. I'm bigger than you are. And, and the predator goes, oh, that's pretty big. I don't want to eat that lizard, even though it actually has no defense mechanism. I'm going to run away. Do you think that's what the frill is? 
Because, like, why would you waste your psionic energy? Like, wouldn't you rather have a faster cooldown on your, your, your psionic transfer, your shade, than fucking have a bit of ornamental fucking circle hovering behind your head? It's fucking... It's a little bit weird. Sometimes Protoss confuse me. They make some odd choices, you know? We've got three Adepts on the other side of the map. Um, there's actually nothing that shoots up for Blisk right now. <laughs> uh, Blisk is like, fuck. God damn it, can you leave? This Reaper finally finished filling that toilet up with the remnants of last night's uh, bad decisions. Does take out a probe and decides to fly off more fire coming out of his ass at the same time. Phoenix down here is going to finally take out a Liberator. Only takes a Phoenix about six minutes to kill a Liberator. Always fascinating to watch this battle. Uh, over here on the other side of the map, we've got the first Warp Prism. It's just going to go and it's going to taunt the Terran. It's, uh, it's uh, yelling. It says... Now. You smell of elderberries, uh, your mother was a whore, also Terran are cucks. I can Terran better than you, you don't even have stim yet. The marines are like, fucking goddamn Protoss fucking libertards. And they're like, oh, you're a conservi Nazi or some shit. They start shouting insults like a bunch of people on social media and everybody who happens to read it unfortunately wants to kill themselves afterwards uh, because their life has just become that much worse. But hey, I think it's it's going to be drop play, isn't it? What do we got? Phoenix? What are the Phoenix? I don't know what the Phoenix are cosplaying as. I still haven't really put together what Blisk is doing here. I think I, I'm going to imagine this is a Marine drop, guys. Remember, I think Blisk is the one trying to cosplay as Terran here, trying to uh, become a doppelganger of Terran. Comes in with a couple of Phoenix. Yeah, I guess these are the Liberators. We got some Marines and some Liberators coming. I don't know. Some sort of dirty Terran harassment. Oh, oh, and the hot pickup and the leave. That's a very Terran maneuver. You know, that's a very Terran. Normally, Protoss players, you know, they warp in their zealots and they just look at home. They just fucking go chill out. Yeah. It looks like Blisk is trying to adopt the Terran approach of keep me units alive after me drop while floating a thousand minerals at home. That's very Terran. I know when I play Terran, when I'm harassing, if I don't have a thousand minerals in the bank, I know I'm probably... I've turned my hacks on, essentially. It's not something that should be happening. Uh, there's only one thing that's fair, and that's pretending you're beyond putting about 45 seconds of non-stop APM into your micro to get one extra worker kill, realizing you haven't spent your money in two minutes, you've been supply blocked, and you've just queued up like 10 units on each of your production facilities while nothing's building, saying, nah, I'm macroing with me hotkeys. I, uh, it's, it, nah, I'm still spending my money. Yeah, you're putting money into structures which are sitting there in a queue, you're not actually doing anything. Once again, ah, uh, 600 minerals in the bank. I think, let's see, I think Blisk is doing it. Yeah, okay, not bad. Forces the workers off. Those marines are like, fuck, there's not enough of us. Then they're like, yes, there is. And uh-oh, uh-oh, there's a corner there. you got to get out of here. Those are stim marines. Half of the marines start staring off into the distance. They forgot what their order was. Uh, order was. Those adepts drop down. They're going to fucking let that warp prism escape. But oh, no. Oh, no. Barely gets out of there. Holy shit. That warp prism survives for another day. Good on you, Blisk. I like it. I like the harassment, the maneuvers. This Terran's like getting a taste of me own drippy droppy medicine. Fucking Protoss, mate. They can play Terran, they can play, play Protoss. And you know what? I feel like he's almost going to play a bit of Zerg because we're making a ton of charge lots and there's nothing Zergier than just fucking A moving 400 charge lots. Now, not just that. Oh shit, he didn't make Warp Gate. How did I miss this one? I'm a terrible fucking caster. Blisk, you absolute legend. I was joking about queuing up units on the gateways. There were. There were three zealots queued up on every single gateway right then. It was exactly like watching a Terran player macro. It's just rallying out of fucking unupgraded gateways. Like an actual Terran player. Oh, the commitment to the challenge. Blisk, you absolute fucking legend. Not only have we seen some fancy drop harass, we're seeing non-stop units produced out of gateways without warp gates, because warp gates are for cucky Protoss players. But we're real men. We're Terrans. We just fucking rally shit out of our production and hotkey it as it walks out to our rally point. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Blisk goes in for an absolute shitter of an engage there. Force fields his own army out. Is a bit confused about how to take this one. Needs a few more units. We've got Glaives on the way. Super random. Arc on starting to morph in as these high templar rally out of the gateways their models are going to go forward a bit don't know if that's the right idea these tanks are presenting a very real threat right now but deadman you know he's staying on this side of the map a long time that's a big protoss army 
Uh, Deadman getting very, very brave here. He's going to actually split that drop off as well. Trying to get a bit tricky. Uh oh, here we go. Fancy immortal drop. Oh, no, there's a fucking marine drop on it. Oh, no, the Widow Mines. Fuck me. Those immortals are going to have to try and get out of dodge. Those marines could get on top of that at any moment. They are going to get on top of that. Is it enough, though? I think those immortals could maybe stand and fight. No, they'd already lost their barriers. They all are going to go down at the same time, though. Double drop. Oh, fuck me. The Archons and the Phoenix absolutely destroy that dead man's drop goes into dead man drop zone and just gets fucking annihilated there's a fourth base on the way blisk here adding in a random void ray i mean that just seems like something a terran player would do right they're like oh void rays are a good unit i'm gonna build a void ray in the late game it seems like a good idea uh more and more zealots rallying out as well as archons this single siege tank is like i'm gonna take a few shields off you Hmm, maybe it wasn't that good. And now we're going to see a Protoss player's impersonation of a Terran. You know how Terran always complaining about how hard their Micra is? Pretty sure every Protoss player thinks they just stim an A move. And that's exactly what this Protoss Blisk is doing with this army. Realizes halfway through the fight, apparently it's maybe not as easy as just stim an A move when you're using Protoss units or when you're using Terran units. Ends up throwing the army away, going in two units at a time into a ball of bio. Oh my god, dead man there. Kind of hugs that Archon, takes down a few of those High Templar on the retreat, and suddenly the army supplies swing way in the Terran's favor. Uh, Blisk here trying to insult his opponent's race just a little bit too much, I think, and uh, needs to try and make some cool shit happen. Dead Man's going to come forward. That system is afraid of Storm. Blisk does not have Storm, though. <laughs> and oh, fuck me. Blisk and Trubs. Ah, oh, shit. You'd really wish you had some warp gates right now or some Psy Storms, but it's okay. There's one Chadray with a maximum piss stream activated. He's going to take out those Medivacs. Go, Chadray, go. The Zealots A moving in. The Archon, the Immortal, doing massive damage. That Archon is on 13 kills. 14 kills. Holy shit. Manages to cleave through the army. Holds on. And it looks like that Terran force is on its way to Dick Town. Oh my god, that's a lot of Widow Mines. Imagine if they were with all that bio. Oh no! Dead man got a bit excited on the counterattack, forgot to bring the Widow Mines. They would have destroyed those Charge Lots and Archons. Dead man. Oh, it's got to be a bit frustrated. Also, of course, 2 2 finishing right after you've just lost your entire army. I mean, that's that's my move. I, I, I feel like Dead Man watches a bit of my stream, knows how to take attacks right before your upgrades finish. Good on you, Dead Man. Good to see you learning from someone as fucking proficient in this game as me. I hope you look forward to losing your next thousand MMR and looking like an absolute fucking gronk on the ladder. Because there's, are there even medevacs? There's, there's two medevacs. Eight marauders, 15 marines. Yeah, he's kind of been reset. And it looks like now we're going to see Bliss go, you know what? I'm just going to make some fucking lasers. Fuck cosplaying as your stupid race. Having to produce me gateway units without warp gate is already hard enough. Let's make some big fuck off lasers and roast you. Uh, Challenge lots, Colossi, Archons, Immortals. Probably going to be a pretty good choice of units here. The upgrades may be in favor of Deadman, especially when 3-3 finishes. But I don't know if there's going to be an answer to this many lasers. Especially if you leave your Widow Mines at home. There's so many Widow Mines left behind once again. Dead man, you've got to bring your units into the fight. Um, these libs are going to come forward, set up some naughty no-go zones. They say, who wants freedom? Yep, uh, whether you want it or not, you're going to get some. Uh, Operation Free the Oil of this base over here. They're like, you know, they're coming into the middle. Well, it's actually the Middle West, not the Middle East of this map. Um, but they are going to steal the minerals. So, you know, there's a parallel, right? Uh, meanwhile, these Marauders are like, fuck, there's no space for us. The Medivac parts are like, sorry, dudes, we're already over capacity. And, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a kind of nasty funeral there. Lasers, blood, and sliced and diced Marauders. It's a whole bunch of Terran sushi this game. And you know what? Blisk is like, yeah, you know what? I pretended to be your race. I'm going to go in one more time with a big old A move. Once again... Oh, look at that, a bit of micro. Spreading some zealots out? No, it's it's just to attack multiple angles at once. Once again, Blisk here showing amazing Terran control. A moving the army in multiple directions. Just like someone who's stimming an A move. Ah, fuck. Ah. Fuck me, man. That's ow. Ah, shit. Oh, the top side, though. The top side's going okay there. That Colossi, unfortunately, doesn't have that patch. Turret tracking does go down on the north side. Blisk is going to barely overwhelm. You know, took that fight about as terribly as I think he could have just to play out the challenge. But in the end, is fucking destroyed. A really nice playthrough here. 
building units out of gateways, doing some drippy droppies, queuing up units four at a time while over microing the drippy droppies, and now adding a couple of every unit. This is almost like a Noah's Ark challenge here. Adapt Zealot, Stalkers, Phoenix, Void Rays, Colossi, Immortals, Archons. Fuck, we, this one could have almost made it into next week's. Hats off to you, Blizz. Thanks for the replay, you fucking legend. And GG, well played. Thank you for that replay there. And that's going to be the end of today's Icy Fun, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate the support. And don't forget to send those replays in for the Noah's Ark Challenge. Play with as many unit types as possible. Fucking do something like I did in my demonstration game at the start of today. Triple upgrade, Ling Bane, Roach, Hydra, Lurker, Infester, Swarm Host, Ultra. It was, and Vipers as well. It was, it was a good style. It was fun. Try it out. Try some of your, your fun fucking little bit of everything builds. Preserve the race before the flood and fuck your opponent up. Thanks for hanging out, guys. These will all be on YouTube if you're watching on Twitch. See you guys next time.